Hello and welcome to another lecture of Law of the Sea. I am Muhammad Ahmedul Islam, lecturer, Department of Law, World University of Bangladesh, and today we are going to talk about International Whaling Commission. So here we can see the logo of International Whaling Commission, which has been used for educational purpose only. The International Whaling Commission, or IWC, is the global body charged with the conservation of whales and the management of whaling. The IWC currently has 88 member governments from countries all over the world. The Commission's role has expanded since its establishment in 1946. So in this picture, we are seeing that um, the member countries of the International Whaling Commission. In blue, we are seeing the current member and in light blue, we are seeing the former member countries and the ash colored countries, those are not the member countries. So there are mostly landlocked countries, uh, but still there are some countries that are maritime, especially the Indonesia, Malaysia, those are maritime countries, but they are some uh, somehow not member countries of the International Whaling Commission. In addition to regulation of whaling, today's IWC works to address a wide range of conservation issues, including bycatch and entanglement, ocean noise, pollution and debris, collision between whales and ships, and sustainable whale watching. The main objective of the International Whaling Commission, or IWC, is to establish a system of international regulations to ensure proper and effective conservation and management of whale stocks. These regulations must be such as are necessary to carry out the objectives and purposes of the Convention and to provide for the conservation, development and optimum utilization of whale resources must be based on scientific findings and must take into consideration the interests of the consumers of whale products and the whaling industry. The International Convention for the Regulation of Whaling also applies to factory ships, land stations and whale catchers under the jurisdiction of the contracting governments and to all waters in which whaling is prosecuted by such factory ships, land stations and whale catchers. So, International Convention for the Regulation of Whaling or ICRW, with species after species of the great whales being hunted close to extinction, various nations met throughout the 1930s attempting to bring order to the industry. Finally, in 1948, the International Convention for the Regulation of the Whaling or ICRW came into force. The preamble states that reconsidering or recognizing, sorry, recognizing the interest of the nations of the world in safeguarding for future generations the great natural resources represented by the whale stocks, having decided to conclude a convention to provide for the proper conservation of whale stocks and thus make possible the orderly development of the whaling industry. So from this preamble, we are seeing that uh, the, uh, the convention act is actually cautious about the uh, extinction, the upcoming extinction of the whale stocks and they are also concerned about the whaling industry as well because it has a lot of economic value. IWC decision making body or for ICRW. So International Whaling Commission or IWC was established as its decision making body originally with 15 member states. The IWC meets annually and adopts regulations on catch limits, whaling methods and protected areas on the basis of three quarters majority vote. In recent years, the IWC, recognizing new threats to whales, has moved towards a broader conservation agenda which includes incidental catches in fishing gear and concerns related to global environmental change. Whale hunting by indigenous people called Aboriginal subsistence whaling is subject to different IWC controls than those on commercial whaling. So it is understandable because Aboriginal people have been um, living off whales for a long period of time and their methods are usually sustainable. But the commercial whaling is not a sustainable method because it uses modern technology to hunt down the whales in mass and uh, it causes the whale population to decrease significantly. So uh, this is the end of the lecture. We have to understand and we have to recognize that our commercial whaling is causing harm to the whale population 
and we have to protect those whale species because they are part of the ocean environment and they have a big impact on the um on the conservation of other natural resources on sea so therefore if we want to survive on the earth we have to be careful of our economic activities and our fishing activities so that is why the Inter international whaling commission was established and all of the countries they must uh, follow the rules and regulations promulgated by this commission because it is uh, for the betterment of the world even though some countries may may face uh, some economic difficulty due to these restrictions it should be followed because uh, for we are um, we have to look at the big picture we have to look at the future if you do not look at the future we only look at the uh, short term gains our long term goals are not going to be achieved so we have to be careful about uh, the marine fishing activities and we have to follow the international whaling commission rules and regulations so that is why we need to learn more about this concept this organization and work with it so i hope you have understood the lecture content of today i hope uh, uh, you have understood it and uh, if you face any problem you're free to ask any question in the comment section i will answer accordingly so thank you so much for participating in today's class and i hope to see you all in the next lecture